guys, Matt Bartram here from Peak Transformations, offering you the very best in personal training, life coaching, deep tissue therapy and health workshops. In today's video training log I want to cover the subject and get you guys uh, up to speed on the concept of small wins or tiny tweaks. Um, I've decided to share this bit of data with you today uh, because it's one of the most common things that comes up with most of my PT clients and life coaching clients who are looking to make some sort of change in their life and they just see the goal as too big, they see the mountain as too big and they just don't think that they can make the change that they want to make because the goal seems so far away from where they are now that what's the point starting? So this concept of small steps or tiny tweaks, um, it first came about uh, by an organisational theorist called Carl Welk and he had this theory where he used to go into organisations and if they had big major problems he would break it down into the smallest steps possible and he would look at making them better just perhaps 1% per week. Um, so they could build on their success week after week after week and eventually they would hit the goal and get rid of their organisational problem. Um, his theory sort of says that if you've got a goal that you want to achieve or you've got some change that you want to make, you don't need to make the big radical steps like we all have done on um, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day resolutions and only to set us up to fail really and we know this because we've all been there haven't we? We've all been there, made New Year's resolutions where we've said, right, we're going to sort our diet out. Um, so we make all these radical changes only by week three, week four in January, we're back where we started because we just didn't feel right. It was too much of a big deal. We couldn't fit it in with our life, etc., etc. So um, let, let's break this down for you and let, let's put some real life examples that um, you may have experienced yourself uh, or that you can relate to. Let's say, for example, you want to change your career, you want to get yourself a new job. Well, there's two approaches. There's the, the big radical change where you hand in your notice, you go on a job hunt and you hope that you find something that matches your financial needs, fits in around the rest of your circumstances, etc, etc, and um, I hope everything's going to be okay. Or there's the small steps approach that basically says that maybe you could stay in your current job for a little while, but then just set yourself a target that twice a week you're going to look on some recruitment sites or some job sites just to see what's out there. You may look into a college course to get yourself some better qualifications. Um, you may start talking to colleagues in other industries that you would like to be in and find out what it's really like. So these small steps, and I'm only talking about one or two small steps per week, may only take 10, 15, 20 minute investment of your time. Um, and then you can build on the successes then and just gently move forward uh, towards your goal. Likewise with nutrition, let's say for example you you want to get rid of all sugary products out of your diet. Well okay, you could cut out all fizzy drinks, you could cut out all squash, you could cut out all fruit, cut out all chocolate bars, cut out all sugar out of your drinks. That's basically only going to lead to uh, one result and that's your body is going to crave sweet sugary stuff. Uh, the majority of the time because the receptors in your brain are still calling out for it and um, Ultimately you will fail and you will have a relapse and you may never make it back And then you'll start over again and this cycle will keep going round and round and round How about with the small ste steps concept what you actually do is just reduce the sugar in your tea and coffee by reduced by half uh, per day for a whole week get through that, build on your success and then next week drop it by another quarter, drop it by another half. Once sugar's out of your hot drinks you can then maybe reduce your chocolate bars by one a week. So slowly, slowly, slowly you build on the success and you ultimately hit your goal. You can build on your success, you can reaffirm to yourself how well you're doing and the body is so much more better to gradual change than it is rapid change. Um, 
well, we know this because if we just look at evolution versus revolution, uh, evolution is small, subtle changes over thousands and millions of years, and ultimately it makes us the fittest, strongest version of ourselves. Um, training, I often have clients come to me. I don't currently do any exercise, don't do any training at the moment. I need to lose weight, I need to get fitter, I need to get uh, a better version of myself. Um, I'm not going to put them in a gym three, four, five times a week. It's not sustainable for them. It's too much of a shock to the body. It's too much of a change to their routine. So I might just start them off doing three structured 15-minute walks per week, set days of the week at set times. Build the habit, build, build the routine, build the ritual. And then when the time comes to it, I can just start gradually introducing um, a gym session. And then I can start replacing... Uh, one of the walks with another gym session and I can slowly build on the routine and the ritual that they're building. So in summary with this video, small steps or tiny tweaks in the direction that you want to go with any one specific goal is ultimately going to work so much better than big radical change that you can't sustain. Yes, along the journey, we are going to lapse, we are going to relapse. Um, but one thing I always say to my clients is, don't miss your target twice. So say, for example, you've missed a training session. That's fine, it happens, that's life. Uh, don't miss your next one. Because as soon as you start missing two, three, four, five in a row, that's then starting to become a brand new habit, and then we've got to introduce a new one. So along with the process of small steps and tiny tweaks, also remember that laps and relapse is normal, uh, but just don't miss twice, don't miss your target or your small step twice. So that's it for today's video training long. I hope I've served you, I hope it's been of use to you. If you'd like to know uh, any more about my work regarding personal training, life coaching, deep tissue therapy, or my workshops, um, Please get in touch with me, a very simple search on Google for Matt Bartram PT or on Facebook, you will find me. Uh, I'm on YouTube, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Twitter, you will be able to phone, find me on social media very, very easy. And please, if you like the work I do, please share it with your friends um, so I can continue to keep giving out free content to you guys. Have a great day all.